is some good news out of Lewiston tonight. In addition to the 18 people dead, there are still three people at Central Maine Medical Center. Today we learned one of them has been upgraded and is no longer in critical condition. One of those three patients is 24-year-old Kyle Secor. His friends say even though he's not a Mainer by birth, he exemplifies the Maine spirit. Inside the Androscoggin Bank Colise, someone important is missing practice. He has so much energy and passion and he's always smiling. He's a guy who's really brightening up everybody's day. Energy, passion, toughness, what hockey is all about. And he had this gritty, grindy style of play that the fans we're used to seeing from the old Lewiston Maniacs here. So he blended in beautifully and the fans loved his game. Nick Withy was one of those fans. He started following the Maine Nordiques when they moved to Lewiston in 2015. I learned the game through a video game and by attending games here. I don't know how to skate, never played hockey before in my life. Now, the born and bred Mainer is the team's director of media and community operations. This is a 10 minute drive from my house. This really is my backyard. His teammate, Kyle Secor, a former player, now the team's scorekeeper, was playing cornhole at Shimenji's Bar and Grill Wednesday night when a shooter opened fire. Kyle was hit several times. And immediately my heart sank. I was like, oh no. Five on a dot in the D zone. After state leaders lifted the shelter in place order, Nick and the Nordiques traveled to Philadelphia for their first game since the shooting. Kyle was still in the hospital. And before we left, I got the bus PA mic and I told the players, look around at this community as we drive through the streets of Lewiston Auburn. Really think about what these fans mean to you and take the community on their back. I'd like to deliver some opening remarks. The Nordiques fell behind 3 0 in the first period. Can go on the other way. Then their first goal. It's in front, he scores. What a response. In the second period, they tied the game. He wins the puck and he finds the back of the net. And in the third, Burns Johnson in front, he scores. They really knew they were playing for something more than, than a hockey game. They had a little bit of hope, a little bit of joy to see us, see their team win. Romeo, Romeo toward the empty net. Lustin, this one's for you. Sure, we were down, but we came back stronger. Relentless, just like Kyle with more than his spirit in the arena. We had his jersey hung up on the back of the boards and I was tapping it before I went out. 19-year-old Seth Murch was wearing Kyle's old number, but gave it up. While he's recovering and through this process, we want him to be the only number 14 out there, you know. It's just the little things that I think we talk about every day, the little things matter. And that's one little thing that I think can help him in the process of recovering. A little thing with a lot of meaning. It's a reminder. It's a way to say that he's still here. He's here in our minds all the time. But that jersey represents a lot. It represents a lot of hope and, and, uh, and courage. Courage Kyle embodies. A Mainer in action, even if not by birth. We know it's going to be hard, but we know that we are going to do it as one. So tomorrow night, the Nordiques have their first home game at the Colisee since the shootings. Admission is free. They are inviting fans to write messages in sidewalk chalk out front before the game. They also plan to have comfort dogs, a pregame ceremony. And the team told me that it is a chance to bring the community together for something other than a vigil. Mm. One last cool note. They're playing the New Hampshire Mountain Kings, coached by Cam Robichaux. He's an Auburn native. He played at the University of New England. He later played and coached for the Nordiques. Wow. A lot of symbolism there. This one's for Lewiston, yeah. as they said. All right.